Hey guys, this is Vidmaster. Time for Pillow Warfare number 272 featuring Pick Dream. Man, man, I always, always wanted this like Pick Dream matches because uh, again, one of the other Pick Dream is becoming like a lot more, a lot more like a like Pick Wall in a way that it's uh, not really gonna winning so much considering the how the team works. So Infinite is Infinite here. Now, I, now I thought that uh, he has Earthquake, and since I don't have anything against other Infinite. I said, you know, let's go switch to Dragon Knight in case he has Earthquake. But now he has Fire Blast. Thinking, wait, if he says uh, he has Fire Blast, to try to go against my my own Infinite, then I assume that he ha this first this Japanese Infinite has nothing against my Infinite. So yeah, that's kind of uh, an idea here. And he uses U-turn. So yeah, now I'm thinking, okay, so this is not really really good idea to have Dragon Knight. Even though, because uh, because Dragon Knight without uh, Lopini is pretty slow, so yeah, I'm kind of wondering, uh, you know, stuff. Uh, so now I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch back immediately to uh, Infinite because I'm afraid of that, that every Porygon two ever has Ice Beam, and as I don't have this uh, multi skill anymore, I gotta get the heck out of there. Uh, and for Porygon two, I have close combat to deal with it. For uh, yeah, it has other Pokemon that's actually weak to Infernape. Because he had like, uh, I think he had like a Fair Thorn on this person's team. He had like, uh, I don't even remember, there was someone, something else. Uh, we, a lot of Pokemon are weak to whatever Infinite has. So I just said. Turning about Pick Dream, yeah. Uh, yeah, Pick Dream's dynamic keeps changing, even to the point that, um. Yeah, that sort of thing. Because like, it's, it's always going to be uh, Lopini, Dragonite, uh, and uh, Lilligan. But not with the, the rest of the team can, can uh, Differ. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be integrated to six gen, but it's probably be most likely. With six gen difference, it's most likely also. Now for with this team, that's the one by the way is a, is a guard chomp. So yeah, uh, I'm not entirely uh, so I'm not sure what the one uh, of Infernate, but with this Porygon two, it's easily with good close combat done. But uh. For his uh, guard chomp, but not entirely sure what to do against it. But although I do have dual chomp, so that's uh, kind of like my idea for it. So anyway, back to uh, so yeah, guard chomp here. So I use dual chomp here, thinking that okay, so that might as well be a good idea. However, it doesn't do that much against guard chomp. So get oh okay, so it didn't KO it, but I don't really mind in this case because um. Well, Garchomp is slightly bulky against a, a, a weak move like, like Dual Chop, so don't really mind. So, I'm thinking here that I hope that Lilligant can actually um, survive uh, whatever move it is and then use uh, a Petal Dance. So, thinking, okay, he's, er, he's um, outraged. Thinking, oh, crud, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. Come on, Lilligant, survive, please. And she's around to 7 HP. Of course she does. So, there goes Garchomp, and therefore the battle. I don't know if that crit bad, I doubt it, but yeah, good job, little again. You're still an awesome member of Pick Dream. So yeah, see you guys later for uh, Pokemon Wi-Fi number 273, which I believe we just picked Driz now. So yeah, can't wait to see that. So yeah, later.